Another photo uh, ceramics overlap is that there's a lot of experimentation that you can do. If you know a few of the rules or most of them, you can break them and that goes with a lot of things. But with photo and ceramics, a lot of happy mistakes come from just trying and having the, the urge to create and want to make new things. It might not be what you originally intended on, but it is going to be something that you're happy with and it might give you an idea to keep trying something differently from there here on out. And that's how I like develop a lot of my own technique. Welcome to Pack Heavy Chase Light, a series about photographers, videographers, filmers, editors, and other creatives. I'm Louis Medeiros. My name is Timothy Myers. Yo, it's Quebec. I'm Christopher. I'm called Benjamin Ortega. My name is Olaf Stubre. For episode four, we have Josh Zucker. When I first started shooting, I really, really looked up to Josh. When this project came along, I really wanted to go revisit Josh and kind of properly tell his story because he started in skateboarding, went to kind of shooting lifestyle, behind the scenes, just general life of rappers and pretty interesting people. And then he just stopped shooting and now he does ceramics. It was also really nice to see Josh and learn that he has no bad blood with photography. He still loves it, he still loves to shoot but he just found a new love in ceramics and he's really, really successful at that just like he was and still is with his photography. This is Pack Heavy Chase Light, <laughs> episode four. Does it look like it's instead of my head? Hi, my name is Josh Zucker. I'm 29 years old. I'm from Massachusetts and I was video, photo, visual art creative and now I do mostly ceramic art but I think artist covers it best. To start this off, I think if you asked me a few years ago if I would be a ceramic artist, I would never have believed you. It really was not something that I considered or even thought about once, but I think life really has a lot of surprises for you. And when I started photography, I think for a good seven or eight years, I shot photos almost daily and I worked on a lot of video projects in skateboarding and fashion and music that really gave me an opportunity to see a lot of places and talk to a lot of people that I wouldn't have otherwise. Having a camera with me gave me a lot of opportunities to go up to someone I usually wouldn't and have like a moment with them or... Fucking shit. You got what? I got some juicy shit. He did some rapper shit. He did some Word? rap shit. Yeah. Hey. It was outside of skating. Skating didn't know what to do. Oh my God. So I started drawing a lot of portraits and sketching a lot. And one day, after filling up another sketchbook, I saw this pot that I drew and it clicked in my head. I was like, I have to make this pot instead of keep drawing it. And after that, I, was, I could barely touch a camera or edit another video. I was just so focused on ceramics. Four years later, I'm, it's all I can think about. Plaster molds are a great way to make something um, exactly the same over and over. So you're making a planter, let's say, in this situation. And then I'm gonna pour clay into here. And once the clay has set, once I open it up, I'll have like a perfect piece to work with. It's a really good method if you wanna make um, a lot of one design. Usually they're a lot smaller, but right now I'm into making planters. So this is a very, efficient method. It's going to be really nice to work with. I can clean it up and then I'll fire it once, glaze it, but at least we got it opening. <laughs> Mostly if I'm um, thinking of a new design, I'll do wheel throwing. It's not something that I usually do, but in my free time, it lets me kind of look at things a little bit differently. I like to compare it to um, street skating and vert skating, where they're both skateboarding, but it's completely different approaches and you might be really good at one thing, but not at the others. This is like my biggest problem right now is all these empty containers of slip that you go through. 
Not my most proud moment, <laughs> me next to my pile of trash. So when I was growing up, my take on pipes and smoke shops were that they were full of tacky stuff that you would not want in your house ever, or especially not be seen by anyone. You would put it like in a drawer, or like put it in a sock or something. So I think having a smokeware in your home that is more uh, playful and whimsical, it really is important. If your pipes look immature and that you have the same one that you use when you're like in high school or in college, I, that's not something that you want around in your home currently. Even if you don't smoke, you want to have them in your home and you want to have them like presentable pieces that like, why should your pipe be embarrassing? You might want to think about that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So a lot of my work is very bright in contrast to my photography, which was a lot of black and white. But ever since I got into clay, I've gotten really into dyeing the clay certain vibrant colors, which is used instead of painting. This is my kiln. And I bought it secondhand. It's my first kiln that I've had personally, but I really enjoy having it. Although when I was young, I was terrified of like fire and potential fire hazards. So this is like way out of my comfort zone. A lot like photography where if you have a photo that you really like, but you don't have an exact purpose for it, I think I was really drawn to that. So same thing with pottery. There's always something that's been done. I really enjoy just incorporating found objects into my work and making it my own. Um, so a cup, for instance, I have a cup pipe that I made and I just love making it different colors and seeing where I can take it. Even though it's a very basic object, you, you can put your own touch on it and your own spin on it. If you are too worried about copying someone else's work, you're gonna, not end, you're gonna end up not making anything at all. Does it look like it's instead of my head? You're the first person in the world to see that new pl planter completed. So this one just came out of the kiln today and it was something that I've had in my head for like a number of years actually. It was like this really sugary fruit juice that was usually red and it would often be in these jugs at um, summer camps. The juice came out of here. It was such a, like a joy and a beautiful memory of summer. So I'm really happy to have this new mold. Um, and I love feeling it. It just came out today. So it's like a new, brand new baby. I'm really stoked. This is the first one I've made. And when you water it, it's gonna drain hair. Um, This is a new design as well. These are pool balls that are semi-deflated. So it's kind of like a juxtaposition because pool balls are so hard and you would never see one that looks like someone kind of like pokes it. These are one of my favorite new designs. So a few photos that I really cherish are these photos that I shot of Frank Ocean or practicing for a performance. I don't know if I'll ever use them for anything. I really enjoy the memories that I had shooting them. So I think those Frank photos, it's hard for me to think though, because I don't really, I try not to look back too far, more focused on the present right now and making new pieces. To have a thing like clay for me is super important to focus on the creative process. My, this is my collection currently of mason stands. And mason stands are what you use to put in clay to dye it certain color. So this is chrome green oxide that I dye clay green with. It's tangerine, lavender at the moment. So I mix everything up with a drill. And this should make a really nice shade of lavender. If you start an idea and you don't really know where it's going with uh, photography, like you have a photo series that you wanna work on, but you're not really sure what you would use it for, 
is something that I would do a lot. I would just go out, take photos every day, not really have a home for them. I think I do that a lot with ceramics and that helps with the developing process a lot. You know, like you end up somewhere that you, you weren't really expecting to get to. Through trial and error, you actually make something that you're really happy with. Similar to photography, you have a, an, a group of work and a few years later you'll make a zine or you'll make a book or something, have a show that you didn't originally intend it to be used for. It wasn't so nerve-wracking when I left what my current, like when I left visual art to pursue ceramics because I was so obsessed with pottery that I couldn't really think about anything else. I didn't even have time to stress about photography and video and like what might happen if I started something new. I'm really happy I made that decision to go with my gut and uh, you know just follow follow my passion even though it came so abruptly and out of the blue that uh, it was surprising to even me but I think it paid off. I usually, oh, before I mess, before I fuck it up, but I really like what I did just there. That's my favorite thing about throwing is you get a lot of spontaneous gestures that result in totally like unexpected results. So now I have like a funny angle right here and I'll probably just leave this how it is. Happy accidents are something that I'm, I'm really into. Pack heavy chase light kind of reminds me of my jump from video and photo to ceramics because when I was learning ceramics, I tried to pack in as much info as I could, get as much knowledge as I could possibly attain to get to the level that I wanted to be at and start producing the work that I wanted to see. The idea of chasing light is just so appealing to me because I think it's really like a mindset of living lightly and carefree, making pieces that make others happy making myself happy and hopefully getting better at it as I go, but not being weighed down by negativity and doubt. <laughs> I'm so happy it came out good today. It really is healthy for me as an artist and the people in my life that I care about. Uh, I couldn't ask for anything more. <laughs>